So I want to add two numbers together like 5.6 plus, um, plus or minus 0.2 and 2.7 plus or minus 0.2. How would I do that? Well at high school you were taught just to add <coughs> these two numbers to get these two uncertainties together but university we go for a much more sophisticated way. So to find out the value of them we just add up these two numbers here so 3.2. So the value, the value is going to, of this measurement is going to be 8.3 plus or minus. Now what we do with these things is we add them on quadrature, which basically means we use Pythagoras. <coughs> so what we do is make this, the uncertainty equals the square root of certainty A squared plus the second one squared. So what we do is in this case we go square root of 0 0.2 squared plus 0 0.2 squared equals at this point we grab our calculator 0.2 squared plus 0.2 squared equals 0 0.8 we take the square root of the answer equals 0, 0 0.2828 28 okay the thing about uncertainties is we only give uncertainties to one significant figure. So I'm going to round that off to equals one significant figure. So round it to 0 0.3 and that's going to be my uncertainty. So as you can see this is slightly different than if we're just adding them together. What about if we have more numbers uh, we want to add together? So, so plus 5.6 5, um, 5 plus 0 0.2. 2.7 plus or minus 0 0.2 and what about if I add it on a 3.5 plus or minus 0 0.3 and if I want to add all of those up together all those values together what am I going to get? Well I just add up just like we did before to get the main value 8, 7, 8 so that's going to be 11.8 Plus the great thing about Pythagoras, remember we're basically doing this as Pythagoras, is that Pythagoras is true for however many dimensions that you have. C squared plus dot dot dot. So I'm go sigma, the uncertainty is equal to square root of 0 0.2 squared for that measurement, plus 0 0.2 squared for that measurement, plus 0 0.3 squared for that measurement. So all I do is I go 0 0.2 squared plus 0.2 squared plus 0.3 squared equals take the square root of that answer equals 0 0.4123 Remember we only give standard to one significant zero, um, figure 0 0.0, um, 0 0.4 one SF. So this is going to be 11.8 plus or minus 0 0.4. If you want to know why we use Pythagoras on this, I would suggest talking to the maths department. That's their specialist area. So we're doing it differently than our high school. Instead of just adding them together, we add them together using Pythagoras and this gives us a much more accurate uncertainty. Okay, we've been talking about adding numbers together, but what about if we subtract numbers? Say I have 7.6 plus minus 0 0.4 and 3.1 plus minus 0 0.2 and I'm going to subtract one from the other. Well, we do that exactly the same way as we do with addition. Well, we do the uncertainties the same way, so I subtract the initial measurements, the main measurements, so 4.5. Now I'm going to do the uncertainties and add them in quadrature. Remember what that means is I basically use the same system we used for Pythagoras. So I go, the uncertainty is going to equal the square root of 0 0.4 squared plus 0 0.2 squared and what we do is stick that in the calculator, that's what calculators are made, made, uh, made for. So 0 0.4 squared plus 0 0.2 squared 
equals take the square root of that lot equals 0.447 uh, 447 which rounds to 0 0.4 so 0 0.4. So what that says is this arrow well, I'm seeing to here is so large it actually dominates over that one. So. But you do it exactly the same way as adding. You square the uncertainties, add them together to take the square root, and then round to one significant figure.